everybody, I'm here again. I'm here with uh, Survivor Lily's Apple One Bush Knife. Probably the best knife I've ever bought in my life. It's an absolute beast. It's made first and foremost for bushcraft and it's absolutely wonderful. And so is the sheath it arrives in, which I've already amended. I've put paracord around it and I've made a little pouch for a furrow rod for a furrow rod, mm. rod and um, striker as you'll see in a second plus the um, magnesium block furrow rod striker but you will get a spark off this because of the steel it's made it's a great knife and a great sheath, but I'm a bit of a, an old man at this and, well, I'm practising to be an old man at it, and I like a personal sheath, so putting this aside, which is a good sheath and there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever, I decided the knife was worthy of one of my attempts at sheath making, and here it is. This is it, made from hide, and it's a scout sheath, and again, if I make one, I'll make it multifunctional, as in the scout sheath, it'll fit on the belt, and it's got a, you can dangle it from the belt, and this is removable, so if you wanted to, turn it off, and Strap it, to your, strap it to your back. Again, it's multifunctional, as in, uh, I made, apart for the um, furrow rod, and obviously the knife itself, like such. And of course the buckle, no, not the buckle, the um, strap goes onto it like such. And it's only my third or fourth attempt at making something out of leather. Uh, of course I'll have to haul in the base, that's deliberate for drainage. Water should, any water getting it will run out of the bomb. It's been burnished. And um, you know, the welts, there's a good strong welt in it. And it's another one I've copied from other ideas and obviously added my own to it. You know, my own little bits and bobs because that's what's on YouTube, that's what's available. I haven't given the instructions of how to make it because there's a million videos on YouTube about how to make these things. I'm just showing the finished result. And um, it's my personal one, you know. And hopefully, well, I've got a piece of kit uh, compass, my granddad's old compass from World War One, and that case is as good now as it was when it was made. So hopefully, we'll get a similar lifespan with this. There you go. The Apple One, Survivor so Lily's Apple One, in a personal case. I hope you like it. Thank you.